Yeah, this is, so we're right at the southeast corner, right? Correct. Yeah. It is Tuesday, June 9th, 2020, at approximately 1010. Um, Madeline Dewey speaking here with Colleen O'Connell and Cedric Robel. We've just deployed from the Army Corps pontoon boat. Jay Miller dropped us off on the southeast corner of Island 18, Grassy Island. Uh, we have climbed to the top of the highest stability berm and we are surrounded by tremendous vegetation. Uh, including some prickers. Um, it's a lot of overgrowth. Our mission originally was to try to walk the entire length of the south, south uh, edge of Island 18, but we're facing almost three foot plus high vegetation, including prickers and thistle. Um, there's a lot of trees, as you can see, of various sizes. And we will reevaluate once Cedric has reached the top of the berm. Very thick. This, and this, this is probably the area. I'm, I'm saying, yeah, we're, we're seeing a noticeable increase in crest slope here, so I'd imagine there's a bit of scarping occurring. The exact extent is unknown due to the density of the vegetation. But the lack of old growth in the drain, in what appears to be a drainage trench lined with two inch to three inch stone is minimal, which suggests recent scarping. The photos that Jean had on the computer were only from the water, right? Right, right. And that, and the, uh, it might be a little tough to tell from the video, but there is a little bit of hitch on these trees towards the water. But okay. That might be a relic of the land of that coastal. It might just be growing on the coastal. I don't see any. Again, the vegetation. All right, is, it is about 10.38 on June 9th, Tuesday, 2020. We're experiencing almost plus six foot low water datum in Toledo on Grassy Island. This is a walk of the southern edge of Grassy Island, Island 18, along the upper stability berm. I'm standing in the southeast corner in the vicinity of the failure, the blowout that occurred circa 2007. And I'm with Cedric Robel and Colleen O'Connell. This is Madeline Dewey from Buffalo District. We are gonna be walking the edge of the southern uh, part of the island along the upper part of the stability berm here. Um, there's fairly thick vegetation and I will be focusing on avoiding hazards. However, we'll be providing commentary as is necessary throughout the duration of this walk. We measured the berm width at the failure and also a couple, um, about 25 paces back towards the center part of the island away from the corner. It was about six feet wide um, at the location of the failure. This is the berm width that we're speaking about. 
and it was closer to 10 feet wide in other areas. Crest width here. Okay. Yeah. Cedric says that we're losing crest width in this area. Yeah, the and drop off starts right there. Oh, wow. Yep, yep. We still got the guys. Okay. That's, that's deceiving. Okay. So are we going to keep going or? Yeah, let's. Could we take a quick measure right here? Sure. Okay, yeah. Are you guys okay to do the measuring and I'll uh, get some footage of this? Drops off. Drops off right. See where that little curvy plant thing is? Yeah, right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's right there. Okay. So about seven point seven, seven feet and seven inches. All right, cool. Seven feet and seven inches. Cool, cool. You want me to hold that end? Maybe yeah. for your picture? You got it? Okay. I think I got it. Cool. Are we rolling? Okay. Yeah. Special thanks to Madeline for the video. <laughs> okay. Fairly <laughs> thick vegetation throughout. There we go. This is looking. Coastal Geotech goes to Jurassic Park. <laughs> <laughs> this is looking west, uh, back down the edge of the island where we came from the failure. So just to recap, the upper berm that we're walking along is narrowing. Um, so we're just going to be careful. Okay. And uh, yeah, exactly what you were saying. As over about what I per, what I am estimating to be a hundred feet, we've written that witnessed about a three foot reduction in crest width, from approximately nine foot ten inches to seven foot eight inches. Doing okay? Yeah. Ooh, it's okay. <laughs> oh. Okay. I'm good. I got some uh actually we took some more pictures of this area. So I think that the internal to the island looks incredibly dense. Many small trees. This is the continuation of our walk down the southern edge of the upper stability berm. Uh, we've just recognized that the berm is narrowing across the width. They brought it on the ship unintentionally, but since it's weak. I don't know if it's clear or not. Oh, okay. Could I use your tape to take a diameter? Sure. I'd use mine, but I don't think it's going to bend well. Oh, sure. Thanks. Cedric's going to measure the diameter of this small tree. Can you get that coming? Yeah. Oops. What diameter do you got? Or circumference, sorry. We're looking at six inches. Six inch tree. Okay. Cool. You want to hold on to that? Sure. Okay. Yeah. And if, uh, are you rolling that on? Yes. These all look like a similar diameter. Six inches is a, is a good number to go with. 
Cedric just said that most of these trees look like they're about six inches diameter, or circumference trees. Yes. Yep. I'm gonna let you guys get a little bit ahead so I'm not shooting Colleen's back the whole time. <laughs> Yes, Cedric, I'm rolling, but I don't think the video is going to necessarily hear you from all the way up there, so... Um, want me to talk a little louder? Sure. Okay. Uh, nope, this is the, one of the first old growth trees we found mid-slope. Uh, due to the steep nature of the slope here, we're not going to attempt to get a diameter on it. <laughs> but, uh, the, this... Uh, Note that this is one of the first old growth trees we found in this slope. Sure. Actually, what are you doing? This look like this might be a scarp in here. See how it's? Yeah, I think this this area because all the there's not a lot of old trees like you said like. Yeah, it, or, or or scrub scrub shrub or something like that down mm -hmm. there, right? I bet I bet you this is a scarp in here. Yeah. I'm calling. I'm calling it that because it's 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 pretty swaled. So okay, right. I don't know. I don't know how to portray that in the photo. If we could just grab that with something with that GPS camera you got, I think we'll find it. Okay. <clears throat> Cedric, let's just try and after this, like kind of make haste walking down because I only have so many minutes of video recording, you know? Gotcha. Oh, okay. Yeah. Are you running out? No, no, no. I just, just want to make sure we can get everything in, you know? Oh, okay. So, like, I can, I think if we just focus on walking the length first and then on the way back, we can stop and take more measurements and whatnot, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because we're going to have to reverse our steps, right? Or I guess Jay could pick us up back. Yeah. In that corner. Yeah, this is this is kind of drops off. A little okay. treacherous here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we have. I only can classify them as the sticky prickers. So, so. A lot of prickers. Fragmites.
Five feet. Five feet berm width? Yes. Okay. Good. Thanks. So we're still on the uh, the higher stability berm right now. We should be. So. Yeah. yeah. Should okay. Be. We're just we just lost it here. Yeah, if you could be had to go around this. Right. Yeah. Yeah. There's 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 that dip right there. Yeah. Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't know if this mission is possible. <laughs> Do the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of trees. So, uh, at this point, vegetation is about six inches on top of the berm. Yeah, we have trees that are probably pushing 30 feet. Yeah. I think even if we get 20 down feet, here, I don't know if we can get back past that. Yeah. There might be an opening in between those two bushes there. Can you see better from your end? Um, I can't tell if there's much of an It looks, really looks really dense. In just okay. in that general direction, it looks incredibly dense to me. I mean. If that's the case, let's not push it, guys. Right. Okay, so do we want to head... Right, and we don't know where the edge of the berm is, really, either. It's kind of hard to tell. Right. Because this is... We're still on the south edge of the island, right? Like, as far as getting to the other corner, we can... I don't think we made much headway. I mean, what is the... Seventy-one to one-twelve. So, what is that? Four, uh, 400 feet? Uh, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. I Ish? Have, I, yeah, wait, seven... Station 71 to station 112. Oh. Where am I doing that wrong? I thought we were here. Like, we, we marked out that, right? And then we came back this way? Uh, I think, no, I think we, la oh, we I, landed here. Oh, okay. Yeah. You're right. We landed... Yeah. Let's I'm see. gonna stop this. This is Madeline. It is 11.08. Um, Cedric Robel, Colleen O'Connell, and I have tried to traverse the southern edge of Grassy Island and made probably about 100 feet of progress. Out of the total 4,000 foot length of the island, we have deemed this mission uh, pretty impossible given the equipment and the time that we have today. So we are back making our way to the far southeast corner again to note um, stability issues um, from the failure from the lower berm. Uh, we've encountered a few animal burrows. Um, this one that I'm showing right now is about 16 inches diameter. Uh, the one back there was about six or so. Um, these burrows could have implications to slope stability. Oh yeah, this is clear. Yeah, this is clear, guys. And here is, again, the narrowing of the upper berm, where we believe the failure occurred uh, back 10 or more years ago. Um, Note the formation of the gully down oh, here, yeah. and then the flow path down towards the toe. Oh, nice. Good work. Right. Good work, Gumshoe. <laughs> Cedric uh, is noting. San Diego, when you're a kid, but <laughs> you love that game. <laughs> Cedric is noting the uh, the gully 
Uh, just the geometry of it and how it's sloping down from the top stability berm down to the water. Uh, what does it say? I'm reading. Oh. Oh, you know what? Let me. Why am I holding it that way? That's there you go. <laughs> okay. Just because I'm an overachiever, I'm gonna throw this tape oh. there, and if one of you could hold it, I'm gonna use my uh, Shannon foldy stick ruler thing to get a height. Oh, okay. And then that'll give us a okay. depth. Right We're measuring the depth of the gully. Okay. 29 inches is what was measured. And then I'm just going to grab a gully width right now. We're actually right at, the, right at your edge there. Okay. And then I'm going to run it across here. I'm there. Okay. Oh, um. Oh. Oh, it says 16 feet. 16 feet? Yep. So, gully depth.
flooring locations as per Gene Lenhart's instructions. It's about 12.15 on Tuesday, 9 June.